In our work so far in the bridging series looking at graphing functions, we've been looking at the idea of sketching of uh, a graph. There's no real requirement to be highly accurate in the initial stages of your um, A-level career. It's simply getting some form of idea for shape. We looked at the algebraic ones. We'll now look at what we call the trigonometric ones. Now, the trig ones are fairly straightforward. We've only got uh, three that we really deal with. The first one is nice and easy. Sine x, okay, what we get is the following. We get this graph. Y is equal to sine x. If you want, or we could write this as the f of x is equal to sine x. If you would like a uh, deeper tutorial on this, um, there's absolutely loads um, on the AS part of the uh, program. This has a maximum value of 1, it has a minimum value of 1. It has what we call a period of 360 degrees. This point here is 180. Its minimum point occurs at 270 degrees. Its maximum point uh, happens at 90 degrees. And this is 0. This repeats itself. So the graph that goes on from here is exactly the same. It has a period of 360 degrees, or as you'll later find out, 2 pi radians. Maximum of 1 at 90, minimum of minus 1 at 270. If you're asked to draw the rough shape, this is all you need. You need to show the maximum, you need to show the minimum, and where that occurs. The other side, if you ever go the other side, which you will, later down the line, this is going to be minus um, 180 here. So this is negative 180 degrees. And this right here is negative 90. You'll get into odd and even functions as you go later, but essentially this basic understanding is all that you need to sketch the curve. Okay, what we'll do now is y is equal to, so y is equal to cosine x, or, and I'm going to call this the g of x, it's a different uh, function, the g of x is cos x. Now cos x is very, very similar to sin x. In fact, it's just a, a phase shift of 90 degrees. And what we end up getting now is the following. We come down, we come round, and we come up here. Okay, so let's just extend our point on. Let's grab that just that way. Now, the points that we're interested in here, again, we've got a maximum value of 1. We've got a minimum of minus 1. This point here is at 90 degrees and 0. This point right here is 180 degrees. We're back to 0 at 270. And then we're up now uh, to a maximum again of 1 at 360 degrees. And this 2 will continue. So this is negative 90 will come down and round and so on. This is what we call an even function. It's symmetric about the, the axis, but essentially the, the y-axis. All you'll see is that it's got this period of 360 degrees and it just keeps going on. You need to know that the rough shape of this, maximum one, negative one is uh, the minimum. It's zero at 90, it's minus one at 180, 270 at zero, 360 at one. The final one we'll look at is tan x, the tangent x. Okay. And this one right here is going to look like so. It looks very much like the graph of y is equal to x cubed. But what we now have is what we call an asymptote. And we discussed asymptotes in one of the last videos. Tan is not defined for 90 degrees. So we have this vertical asymptote here. It picks up the other side and then it comes up and round and back through like so. Now this has a cycle, a period of 180 degrees. The others um, start uh, replicating now every uh, 360. This one starts here. So what we've got now is the, let's just put that on now. So this point right here, if we come down, we're now at minus 90, okay? So we again have an asymptote just here. 
So you can see that distance of where it's now replicating. And appreciate these are very rough sketches. The asymptotes are at 90 degrees to 70 degrees, minus 90 degrees. Some important features on this graph, zero, zero, the tan of 45 degrees is one. Here, a, a tan of minus 45 degrees, which will be about here, is negative one. This can shoot off, it shoots off to infinity. So whilst the cosine and the sines are restricted to one, the tangent just, spy, just shoots off and tends to, we say tends to, positive and negative infinity. So here are your points. These are your main points. It's cutting through here at zero. It's going to cut through at 180. Okay. Now, some key parts to the sine curve. Let's just put here. If we've got a value here, uh, in fact, let's put a different color line on. That's really not going to help. If we've got a value of sine here, then we've got the same value that distance back from 180 degrees. So these two values have the same sign. It's symmetric about the point. Let's just draw that. This is symmetric about the point 90 degrees. So if we look at an example of this, the sine now of 150 degrees is equal to 1 half, and the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. The cosine is symmetric about 180. So if we have cosine of 60 degrees, the cosine of 60 degrees is a half. So cos of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. And because it's symmetric, we have one, the same value 60 degrees back from 360. So cos of 300 is also 1 half. You don't need to know these exact values yet, but some appreciation of these trigonometric graphs is key. So this one, y is equal to tan x, and then we could call this for h of x, another function of x. h of x would be tan x. In terms of a true definition of a function, we'll discuss later how these fit in in terms of what we call the uh, domain um, of a function. But for now, these are the general shapes. In the next video, we'll look at transforming graphs. We may do some basic trig transformations, but it will mainly be around the algebraic ones. But if you can get this information into your head, uh, we need a zero on that, don't we? If you can get that information into your head, you'll be sorted to start your A-level.